Hey guys, Ivan here at IvanManner.com. In this video, I want to show you how to direct link affiliate products on Microsoft or Bing ads. I still get asked this question a lot, which is why I decided to make an updated video, especially considering that my old one is about four years old or so. In this video, I assume that you already know how to create ads. This video isn't about how to create ads, it's about how to specifically direct link what URLs go where so that you will get credit for the sales. So if you don't know how to create a Microsoft ad, Take a look at my other hundreds of videos. I'll put links to some of them in the description so that you learn how to create a Microsoft ad. And then this portion will be just about what URLs go where. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact step-by-step -step process to successfully direct linking your product so that you get sales. And then I'm going to answer seven frequently asked questions that I get a lot. And if you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. But hopefully this video will answer all your questions about how to properly direct link. So. Let's get started. Before I get into it guys, make sure to hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos just like this. That being said, let's get straight into it. So what I have here is an ad for Diabetes Freedom, okay? So it's this ClickBank product here. Uh, it doesn't have to be ClickBank, you can use any product, but we're using this affiliate product, Diabetes Freedom, as an example. And here's our ad for it. So what URLs go where? I'm gonna click edit and we have this final URL spot. If you enter just their final URL, obviously you're not gonna get credit, okay? So let's see what we have to do. So the first thing you guys do have to do is create a ClickMagic tracking link. This is, tracking is absolutely important. I don't understand how some of you run these ads without tracking. You have no idea what works, what doesn't. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on promote here and I'm gonna generate hop link. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go into ClickMagic. I'm gonna create new link. I'm just gonna paste it here. I'm going to, uh, I cover all this stuff really in my other videos, so this is just kind of, uh, kind of a recap, but take a look at my video on how to set up sales tracking with ClickMagic and ClickBank. That way you will know exactly where your sales came from, guys. This is a huge, uh, very important deal. So over here, let me say, for example, Diabetes Freedom DL for direct link, uh, Diabetes DL, okay? So uh, let's, let's create link. So this is the first step, is creating our ClickMagic tracking link, okay? So we have this URL here, and we have our link here. This is our tracking link. This is the link we'll be using. So if we head back over into Microsoft Ads, what URL do you put here? So we have two URLs we have to enter. We need to enter something here, and we need to enter something here in the tracking template. For the final URL, you are not going to enter this, okay? You are not going to enter this. What you have to do is click on this link, and whatever URL shows up here, that's what you have to add. Now, you don't need to add the full thing. So it's up to you guys to check and make sure what works. For example, we're gonna copy this, we're gonna copy it, and we're gonna paste it and hit enter. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't, because sometimes for your URL, you have other things. You have something like diabetesgonow.php, for example. If that's the case, and if typing in just that didn't work, then make sure to enter the whole thing. So it's, it's up to you to check and to make sure that whatever you're entering works. For example, if that didn't work in our example, what I would then do is I would just copy this whole thing and then I would test it. So I'm gonna copy it, control C, I'm gonna paste it and I'm gonna hit enter and this works fine, okay? So you can use this link. So in the final URL guys, you will always only put the link that you see when you land on the page. So in this case, it's this, you can add this affiliate ID, it doesn't matter. You will not get credit by using this link. So you still need the tracking template. So you can add that or you can skip it, doesn't matter. So in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this gonna copy it we're gonna go back to Microsoft Ads and we're gonna paste it here which I already had here but you know just again uh, and yeah what so what I like to do is I like to capitalize these but that that that's irrelevant for this okay so we have this so uh, when someone clicks this link they will be taken to this page okay they'll be taken to this page great but you're still not gonna get credit so what you do need to do in order to get credit for this is scroll down to this tracking template field, okay? So you need the tracking template field, you need to put the tracking template here, so the, the link. So we're gonna take this link, or I'm gonna click copy, I'm gonna go back into Microsoft and we're gonna paste it right here. And then what you can do if you want is you can add additional tokens. Again, I cover this in my other videos, like uh, this is the whole point of tracking. So you would, for example, say keyword, and then you would say slash, you would say query string to track query strings, it would say slash, for example, ad group to see which ad group slash ad ID, for example. And now all these tokens will be replaced and you will know exactly which ad, which query string, which keyword, which there are many other tokens. For example, the other one I use is I use network. 
to see which network the sale came from. I'm gonna put a link of all the different tokens in the description. You can take a look. There are like 20 different tokens you can use. Um, but this will allow you to see exact all these details because Microsoft Ads doesn't have an integration with every affiliate network like ClickBank. They do not integrate with ClickBank. So the only way for you to track ClickBank sales is using ClickMagic and using these tokens and seeing what works and integrating it. So once you do that, you can go ahead and click test and it should say landing page found. If you hover over this option, it'll say landing page found, tracking call successful, landing page found, and you can click save. And that is it. This ad is now going to, well, it, it, it was already eligible, but it should say eligible and you should be good to go. So this is the process. Okay, let's, let's quickly recap. You put the final URL here, whatever URL shows up in the browser, in the browser, okay, that's it. So you have to actually click on your affiliate link, whatever shows up here, you have to add here. And then at the bottom, this URL here is going to be your tracking link. So the link right here, okay? So this is the link that people that you want people to click on. So now that we've done here, we can go over the FAQs. Uh, one thing I forgot to add in my, in my frequently asked questions, so this is the eighth question, is some of you guys are saying, hey, I'm clicking on my link here, I'm clicking this, and nothing shows up in, in ClickMagic, what's going on? So when you click on your link, you're clicking on the final URL. So in Microsoft ads, when somebody actually goes to Microsoft ads, like in bing.com or duck.go or yahoo.com, they, they are actually gonna be clicking on this link. So if you're clicking on your ad and you're saying, wait, wait, I'm not seeing any stats. Yes, users will not see that. Users will actually be clicking on this. So if you really wanna test and see if this works, you should click on this link, not the ad. So that's the first frequently asked question. Now let's go through some of the other ones. So I have it here in a notepad, one. I did everything you showed me and it still doesn't work. So if you followed my steps, you know, step by step, and if you go down here and if you test this and it says, for example, landing page not found or something like that, um, what you can do is if you go into settings, okay, so this is frequently asked question one or number two, I guess. If you go into settings, make sure you go into account settings. So go into all campaigns go into account settings here and make sure that your auto tagging of click ID is set to on. This is that thing right here. So in the previous video I made four years ago, you had to have this off in order for it to work. Now with their new changes, with Microsoft ads changes, you need this to be on. So make sure this is selected. Otherwise you will see the error saying landing page not found or whatever, um, you know, you might have other issues. Make sure this is on, make sure this is on, this is optional, this doesn't matter. Also make sure you don't have anything here in the tracking template field, okay? So uh, that's kind of the first layer. If, if something doesn't work, this is the first thing you should do. And then I'm gonna cover other stuff later on, but let's go back to our ad. So that hopefully answers the first question. The next one is, is the process the same for my landing page? The answer is yes. If you have a landing page and you create a tracking link with it out of the landing page, the process is exactly the same. Whatever URL you see in the URL bar after clicking on your landing page, that's the URL you're gonna add here. And then the tracking link right here, that's the one you're gonna add here at the bottom. However, if you do have your own landing page, I do suggest that you actually go with ClickMagic campaigns. It's a much easier process to set up and to see your stats. It's much more visual, much easier to set up. You don't need to use the tracking template at all if you're using campaigns, if you have a landing page. So. Does this work for a landing page? Yes, 100% It's the same method, but I would suggest you actually use campaigns. Take a look at my other videos. Again, I'll put some links in the description to show you how to set up campaigns and use that. So that's question number two. Question number three, what does tracking call unsuccessful mean? So if you see, so if you go into add URL options and you click test, and when you hover over this, it says tracking call unsuccessful, don't worry about that. Tracking goal unsuccessful doesn't really matter. So if as long as the landing page is found here and here, that's all that matters. If it says tracking call unsuccessful, don't worry too much about it. You will still be tracking properly. I've tested this guys numerous times. You will still be tracking. So if it says tracking call unsuccessful, don't worry too much about it. As long as you did everything that I showed you. What is tracking call unsuccessful? Can I do anything about it? Doesn't matter, ignore it. As long as you did everything that I showed you before. So that's question three. Question four, do I have to use a third-party tracking tool? The answer is no, you, you don't absolutely have to. So what you could do is if you click on promote, you can, if you generate this link, you can take this link and you can add this link down here uh, in this area. You can add that link, paste. Now the issue with this is that you can't really track. You can only track one TAD variable. So you can say TAD equals, like you can say keyword, 
but that's really about it. It's gonna be much more annoying for you to sort all this data. It's not gonna be as visual and the data is just not gonna be as accurate. So I strongly suggest that you guys do use ClickMagic to set this up just because it's that much more accurate. ClickMagic filters for bot clicks, filters for spammers, things like that that keep clicking your link over and over again. So no, you don't have to use ClickMagic. You can just use the ClickBank link right here and you can do the same process, but I strongly suggest that you do track so that you know what works, what doesn't. So that's question four. Uh, question five, does this only work with ClickBank products? No, this works with any product. If you take a Max Bounty product or, or any, literally any product, like say you wanna promote ClickFunnels, you would put your, the, like the, you know, ClickFunnels.com, cause that's the domain of your affiliate link. And then over here, you would put in your actual affiliate link. Now ClickFunnels is a, it's a bad example because their affiliate link is pretty clean. It's just clickfunnels.com slash your ID. Um, but we're talking about links with ugly affiliate links like this, this, is, this looks horrible. So the process is exactly the same for Max Bounty, for any of those offers, any of those networks, JVZoo, anything like that. You would use the exact same process, take the final URL, put it here, create a tracking link for it and put the tracking link in here, okay? So same process. Um, next question is, I saw people using their affiliate link as the final URL. So why are we doing it this way? Yes, yeah, so I have seen some people, what they do is they take their affiliate link right here and they paste it over here in the final URL spot. That is wrong that will get your ad disapproved shortly. The final URL is supposed to be the final URL that somebody lands on. So if the ad is approved, it's probably gonna be approved maybe for a day, maybe two. Uh, that means the Microsoft Ads bots, they kind of automatically appro approve the ad based on ad account age. Uh, maybe it's an older account and uh, you know the approval processes are a bit faster. Uh, but as soon as the bots actually scan the site, the ad will 100% be disapproved because the final URL is not meant for like a redirect URL. You can't put our tracking link in here. It will be disapproved. You have to put the final URL. If you see other people not doing it correctly, you know, sucks for them, their ads are gonna be disapproved. Moreover, that's probably not something you wanna do. I don't think you want your URL here to show this ugly thing. If you type in, you know, buy, what are we doing? Buy diabetes freedom solution, and you see this URL, that doesn't look too trustworthy, right? So either way, this method works in your benefit because this just looks so much nicer, okay? So that's question number six. Question number seven, you still did everything that I showed, including going into settings and it still doesn't work. So there are two things you can do here. One is if you are 100% sure that everything you did here follows exactly what I show you, you can contact their support. So click on help, click on start live chat and say, hey, excuse me, right? So, I mean, let's, let's just do it here. I need help. You say, hey, for this campaign called Diabetes Freedom, Here's my account ID, here's my name, right? All, the, all that stuff. My ad got disapproved for URL mismatch or something doesn't work. It says landing page not found. However, if you click on my tracking template and if you click on my final URL, the result is the exact same page. Can you please look into it? So I have had that happen sometimes and they manually approved my ads. Unfortunately, it had to go through a process. They didn't just click a button. Um, you know, I had to wait a bit, but it was manually approved. So if everything you did here still doesn't work, try that. Now, the other thing is to keep in mind, right? This is the thing number two, is that sometimes some of the products you promote are against Microsoft Ads terms. So um, I haven't really promoted any black hat products, but I'm guessing it's gonna be like maybe uh, guns, things like that. If you're promoting things like this and it's against Microsoft Ads terms, even if you do everything here correctly, uh, this will still say something like landing page not found. I've had it happen. I have tried promoting not guns, uh, but I have tried promoting some, I guess, shady or click bank products, which I needed an adult account for, which I, I set up. But regardless, some of these products that Microsoft Ads doesn't allow you to promote, it might say landing page not, uh, not found. Okay, so if you do do everything correctly, don't freak out that, oh, you, you must have missed something it's probably a product that you can't promote. So uh, just take a step back and think, hey, is this like, is this a grayish product? Or, or you know, is this like, is this a normal product like a diabetes freedom solution? Hey guys, so I've been doing a lot of testing and there is one more thing you could do if nothing else works from the earlier steps, there is one more thing you could do to make this work. And this was, uh, revolves around reformatting our tokens here. So if you're not using tokens, everything's gonna work fine. But if you are tracking, of course, you're using at least one or two or three or whatever, we have to reformat this to make it to work. So right now it says landing page found, this is all good and well. Uh, but if it doesn't work for you, regardless of what you do, what we have to do is, right, here's our tracking link. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link here, paste it in a notepad, 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use UTM parameters. So that is usually the foolproof way. So go into campaigns, click on the wrench icon, click on URL builder, and over here, we're gonna add these values. So you don't actually have to enter anything in here. We're just looking at these values, that's it. So let's go back into our notepad. So instead of saying keyword in a slash, we're gonna delete that slash. We're gonna say question mark UTM underscore source equals keyword, okay? And this is gonna be our format. So instead of that slash, you're gonna delete it. You're gonna say ampersand UTM medium equals query string, okay? And you're gonna separate it out with query strings. And if nothing else worked for you guys, this is really the foolproof way. It's only in some cases that you're gonna have to use this, but if nothing else works, this is kind of the last, last possible solution. So for the next one, you're gonna say query string, you're gonna say and UTM campaign equals. Obviously, you know, if you're only using three, you could just use three. Uh, but you do need, I believe, at least three for this to work. So that, that that's why this is my favorite approach. Uh, but if nothing else works, just use at least three tokens with this, UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaign, uh, and it should work. You could try less than three and see if that works for you. It, it actually might, because this isn't a campaign link, it's a tracking link, but just to be on the safe side. And you're gonna repeat the process for as many as you have. So then you would say UTM term equals add ID, and then you're gonna delete this slash and you're gonna say and UTM content equals network, okay? And this is gonna be our new link that we're gonna use, okay? So like I said, a bit more tedious, but this generally works foolproof. So, oops. You're gonna paste it here and now it's gonna be formatted like this. Now you can hit test and this should work here anyway, right? Now this should work regardless of whether you have, rem remember I told you guys to go into settings and to toggle on or off those, um, yeah, so that's what it should look like. Uh, your your settings, right? Your uh, auto tagging and stuff. So this works regardless of whether you have auto tagging or not. So if I go to old campaigns, let me just show you real quick. If I go into settings, I go to account settings. So you don't have to have anything. So th this one is irrelevant. This is about talking about conversions, uh, but these two. So let's suppose I disable these two now, All right? I'm gonna hit save. We're gonna go back into our ad click on this ad, and I believe this was the one we changed, yeah. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Remember, you're using these UTM parameters. So if, if, if you remember these, if, if you memorize these, you don't have to go back into campaigns. Again, it's, if you click on wrench icon, URL builder, okay? And then it's gonna be here. So uh, yeah, if we open this again and if we test it, now that I removed parallel tracking and I removed add MS click ID, it still says landing page found, it still says tracking all successful, okay? So this is like a last resort. Like I said, I don't really like using this just because it's, you know, you, you have to add all these variables and you, you might have to have at least three. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but this is gonna be the way to make this work, okay? So regardless, if it doesn't work for you without this and ev after everything you've tried, it still doesn't work, uh, then this should be like a, like a foolproof way to have this work, all right? Hope that helped. So that's it for the questions. Let me know in the comments if I missed something. These are the, the, the biggest questions that I've been getting over the years, uh, but this is how you direct link products on Microsoft Ads. Um, on Google Ads, some of you might also be asking, is it the same on Google Ads? Not quite, it's risky to do it on Google. I'm gonna make a video showing you how to almost direct link on Google Ads, which involves really building out a landing page and creating a page that looks very similar to the sales page. But you can't really do this with Google Ads. I have heard bad horror stories of people's accounts getting disapproved and uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's not a good thing to do. So you shouldn't risk it. Uh, so that is it guys. If you enjoyed this video, take a look at my courses at ivanmana.com slash old dash courses, where I teach you how to create Microsoft ads in very thorough detail, Facebook ads, Google ads, all that stuff, remarketing so that you can retarget people and get higher quality traffic. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.